Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the vacuum displacement. Now, why we have to perform the vacuum distillation? What is the difference between vacuum distillation and our regular normal distillation? In regular normal distillation, the distillation is carried out at atmospheric pressure. And in vacuum distillation, we have to apply the vacuum. So, that liquid will boil at low temperature. Why we have to perform the distillation at low temperature? Because this high boiling liquids may undergo decomposition at high temperature. So we have to perform that distillation at low temperature. So that decomposition of that liquid compound can be avoided. Yes, now I will show you the apparatus used for the vacuum distillation. This is a pear shaped flask. We will take this compound which you are going to purify in this flask and this flask will be fitted with this adapter. This adapter we need because when you are doing the distillation that time you will get the boiling point at that reduced pressure. We will put that thermometer in this adapter. So we can measure the boiling point at reduced pressure. Now we have to connect this pear shaped flask to this condenser. So when you are boiling this liquid it will vaporize and it will pass through that this condenser and this condenser we have to connect with the water circulation. So that vapors will get condensed and it will come out as a liquid. And this liquid will be collected in this collector. Okay, this is small round bottom flask will be used as a collector and this round bottom flask will be connected to this condenser with this adapter. Here we can connect it and we can collect your liquid into this round bottom flask and the vacuum is connected to this outside now. Okay. This is the setup for the vacuum distillation. Instead of this pear shaped flask we can use this round bottom flask also. Now I will show you the vacuum distillation setup. Okay. We need the two stands, burner, stand and set this vacuum distillation setup near to the sink because we need the water for circulation. Today I will show you the vacuum distillation of benzyl alcohol. The boiling point of benzyl alcohol is 205 degrees Celsius. Now we have taken this benzyl alcohol in this PRCF brown bottom flask then I will put this adapter into this PRCF flask and I will first feed this PRCF flask to one stand. Then connect the condenser to this flask. First I will feed into this second stand and then I will connect to the flask. Before putting the setup, put the grease to each joint of this setup. Then I will connect this connector to this condenser. Then I will attach the collector to this connector. This is the setup for vacuum distillation. Now I will connect the pipe for water circulation. This is the water inlet pipe and this water inlet pipe should be connected to this one always this down one should be inlet and top one will be the outlet for water circulation okay. now this rb is in here so here we have to put some support so otherwise it will fall down Here we have kept some support for this round bottom flask. Now connect the vacuum to this distillation setup. In normal distillation we are not connecting this vacuum to the distillation setup. 
will not heat this compound directly on wire gauze instead of heating on wire gauze here will heat this compound by using oil bath see here we have put that pierce plus into the oil bath okay we have taken the silicon oil in this uh, beaker and we have put the plus into this oil see the amount of oil the compound you are going to distill should go below that oil level that much oil is required for the heating why we are using the oil because if you use the oil then there will be the uniform heating of your liquid compound okay this is set up for the vacuum distillation before starting the distillation please put the two porcelain pieces into your round bottom flask okay now start the water circulation first now first we have to start the vacuum don't start the burner first so first we will start the vacuum to start the vacuum and this vacuum is connected to our distillation setup through this pipe now this vacuum is closed okay don't keep it open and connect directly otherwise it will suck that liquid into the vacuum form so we have to slowly open this vacuum So slowly, slowly, it will create the vacuum inside your vacuum distillation setup. We have started the vacuum pump. Now wait for some time. If there is any volatile impurity in your liquid, it will come out at room temperature. Wait for one or two minutes, then we will start the burner. Now I will start the burner. See now after heating for several minutes, you will see the some vapor deposition inside this setup. So that distillation will start after some time. Our distillation has started. This liquid started to boil, and here it is coming out. That is the pure benzyl alcohol. And see the temperature now. It is around 100 degrees Celsius. This is the effect of vacuum on the boiling point. Now our distillation is over. Now first you have to stop the burner and then vacuum. Don't disconnect the vacuum first from here. First you have to stop the vacuum pump. Don't switch off the vacuum pump. But first you close this vacuum from here. Then. Open and uh, one and then switch off this pump. So open this one, then the oil from this vacuum pump will come in this pipe. Now we will disconnect the vacuum and then take out this collector plus. See is the pure distilled benzyl alcohol. Okay. The actual boiling point of this benzyl alcohol is 205 degrees Celsius, but it distilled out at around 100 degrees Celsius. That is the effect of vacuum on the boiling point. If you want to measure the amount of that purified compound, okay, to measure the volume by using measuring cylinder, or if you want the weight of that compound, then before starting the distillation first take the weight of this empty round bottom flask and then after the complete distillation you take again the weight of this flask and that difference will give the weight of your pure product all about vacuum distillation hope all of you understood the vacuum distillation